Hello friends and welcome back to another Pokemon how-to guide. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's episode we are going to be going after the Ultra Beasts. Just before we get into this one today, as always, if you do enjoy this content, please remember to drop a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you do hit that subscribe button. I've noticed as well from my analytics that only about 15% of you are actually subscribed to the channel. So if you do enjoy this sort of content and want more Crown Tundra content in the future, as well as other Pokemon content that we cover here on the channel, do hit the subscribe button and join the family. And as we are covering the Ultra Beasts in today's guide, I'd love to hear who your favorite Ultra Beast is. So leave a comment down below and let me know which Ultra Beast is your favorite. So let's set the scene here first before we get into this one today. We have to have already complete all three legendary clues that have been presented to us by Peony. Once you get introduced to the Crown Tundra, he will give you three legendary clues. There's the Calyrex, there is the Regis, and then there is the Galarian Birds. Now, if you've complete all of these, it will say the game is ended once you go and speak to peony in his hut he'll give you a few items uh, as a reward and then he will leave and that seems like that's the end but it is not the end so you will be in this hut here once you've done all the other three and uh, as you notice here there will be a shining object just by the door so what you want to do is just pick this up and you will obtain another legendary clue uh, you put this in the uh, your your bag and uh, it's a strange note like a legendary clue so here we go there's a there's an image here it looks like an ultra wormhole which is very exciting um, and then it's a lot of missing notes there you can kind of make out probably Feromosa in there and and other things like that so put that in our bag did the chief peony lose this you should go deliver it to him at the max lair so we know where he is and we will head to the max lair right now. Well, we can fly there really because it'll be a bit quicker. So if you guys have already got your fly point set up, we know that uh, it is right here, which is the max lair. So we can go straight there and we'll just take a scout around. He's not at the front of it, so he must be inside. So let's see how we do this. So we'll go and speak to Peony, present him with this note. Hey there, Chief. Thanks for stopping by. I'm finally getting a little quality family time with my darling Naya. So there we go. And then we'll tell him about the note. Hmm. Dropped something at base camp. Is that really mine? I don't recall ever writing it. Hmm. Hang on. Isn't that the max layer there in that clue? Okay. So everyone suspicious now of what's going on. And everyone running out. Okay. <laughs> What happened? Creatures, a horde of creatures appeared inside the max lair and we don't know if they're Pokemon. Okay, well, we'll soon find out. Has something caused alien beings to appear? And is this somehow connected to the ultra wormhole that opened up briefly in the sky? Well, sounds like some new crazy things afoot and know what that means, Chief. Bet you a uh, new expedition's approaching. You know what I'm I want to call this one here we go here we go they came from the ultra beyond it's not it's not peony's best work i have to admit but still he's still killing it <laughs> how'd you like that one chief i mean yeah i mean that's it anyway for now there's your goal catch the pokemon or whatever in the photo on that odd clue now get pumped for some more adventuring okay so now now we've got our next legendary mission and then you go ahead yourself and investigate this so what you do is just approach this max raid adventure as you would any other and you enter it here you can see as well if you scroll up the max raid you can tell what the legendary pokemon at the top is now all we've got is a flying type so initially i thought this was tornadoes but on completing these max raids, we get to the final legendary and it actually turned out to be Celesteela. It is worth noting as well that there are 10 Ultra Beasts available to catch within these Dynamax adventures. There is no version exclusives on Sword or Shield. You're going to have all 10 available through each game version in these Dynamax adventures. Which does lead us on to this next point. With this legendary quest, it is going to be a lot longer than the previous three that we've had from Peony. This one is going to involve grinding a lot of time in the Dynamax adventures because the Ultra Beasts aren't going to just appear one after the other like they would in maybe other quests where you can go after one Reggie 
and then go after the other Reggies and complete that quest. This is going to take a long time to do. Like I say, they're going to appear sporadically when you go through any one Dynamax adventure run. There is a way to actually speed this up as well. So if you come back to the Max Lair cavern after you've finished a run, you will see that Naya is still in the cavern. She is Peony's daughter. If you go and speak to her every day, she will offer you a new route for one of the Ultra Beasts and you can purchase these using Dynite Ores. This will then save this route to your list of routes that you've got available to you through the NPC character that you speak to to initiate a Dynamax adventure run and in that list you can have up to three Pokemon listed. So once you speak to Naya you do buy one of the routes that she's offering here for example she's offering us a circuitry route for five Dynite Ores. We'll be able to save that to our list of one of three Pokemon that we can have as a route to hunt or shiny hunt later on when we come back to these Dynamax adventures. It is going to be an ongoing quest for you to go through these Dynamax adventures until you can get all of these Ultra Beasts and if you're like myself and want a shiny hunt in the Max Raid dens you're going to have to spend a lot of time going through until you complete this Max Raid collection for your Ultra Beasts but I hope you found this information useful if you are wondering or were wondering before this video how you did get the Ultra Beasts this is how you do it you need to complete the three legendary clues beforehand and then it will unlock the Ultra Beast to be able to be accessed and obtainable in the Dynamax adventure. So we're going to wrap things up there, my friends. I hope you found this guide useful. I hope you are having a lot of fun in the Crown Tundra right now and getting well into all of these new adventures that you can take part in. This is the legendary adventure or legendary clue four. And this is all about the Ultra Beast, how you unlock them in this Sword and Shield. So this is a post game run. And like I say, it's going to take a little bit of time to actually get all of the Ultra Beast and even longer if you are planning on shiny hunting them like I am so we'll be starting that over on the channel tonight I will be doing a shiny hunt run so if you are around do stop by the channel later and come and try and join in the fun and hopefully you have some luck like I do with catching some of these shiny ultra beasts as always if you've enjoyed this video and found it useful please drop a like on the video if you're new to the channel do hit the subscribe button like I mentioned earlier only about 15% of you are actually subscribed to the channel that are watching these videos so you want to see more of this content make sure to hit that subscribe button turn on notifications and as always leave your comments down below let me know your favorite ultra beast and if you've had any luck finding any shiny ultra beasts as well so far on your playthrough through the crown tundra but i will leave it there thank you so much for tuning in have a great rest of your day and i'll catch you all for another episode very soon so until then take care and bye bye